What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Samsung Galaxy S23 FE a smartphone by playing few of the most high-end heavy graphics games. We will also monitor the battery performance, how much FPS is being generated while playing these games and whether we are going to face any heating issue or not. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So these are the games we got today here on our Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. The screen refresh rate is set to adaptive, the battery percentage is 74 and the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. And we will use the Samsung's Gaming Hub application to play all of these games to get the best performance out of the device. So first of all let's start with Injustice 2. So the graphics quality is looking very impressive. And here at the top left corner you can have a look on the FPS being generated. The graphics quality is really good. As you can see here gameplay is pretty smooth as well. We are getting on average 100 FPS. The 3D graphics rendering is also quite nice, the camera angles are changing very smoothly. So for one particular frame it went down to 60 as well but most of the time it is in the 100 range. So as you could see, the performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 FE was quite impressive while playing the Injustice 2 we were getting more than 100 FPS most of the time. So let's go back from here, let's close Injustice 2, now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of Call of Duty Mobile you can see by default high is selected for the frame rate and very high for the graphics quality. I can select very high frame rate with very high graphics quality. If I select max then the graphics quality is going to high so the combination is very high with very high and max with high. So I am going to play the game on both of these settings and we will see how much FPS we are going to get. So we are getting 60 Enemy FPS contact. as you can see here. Enemy down. UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. On very high graphics quality with very high frame rate. Enemy sight. Target down. Or killer drone on standby. Predator missile on standby. Targets in sight. There is no frame drop or Enemy lagging sight. happening. We are constantly getting 60 FPS. Contact with enemy. Enemy in sight. Target down. Contact with enemy. Enemy in sight. 
so there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth while playing Call of Duty Mobile on the very high graphics quality and very high frame rate. And now I'm going to select the max frame rate with high graphics quality and let's see whether we are going to get better than 60 FPS or not. So we are still getting 60 FPS, it is not getting better than that. The graphics quality is still pretty solid as you can see here, we are getting lots of details slight jittering is happening sometimes only contact with enemy Enemy in sight. Sniper eliminated. Contact. Contact with enemy. Predator missile awaiting orders. Hunter killer drone deployed. Waving online. Targets in sight. Reloading. Cover me. Contact with enemy. As you can see, no frame drops, no liking, and we are constantly getting 60 FPS here.
Enemy in sight. So there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth, we were constantly getting 60 FPS, but in that case I would prefer to go with the very high graphics quality with very high frame rate because in any case the maximum possible frame rate we were getting is 60 only. And now let's play Asphalt 9. So here in the graphics setting of Asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high graphics quality and 60 FPS mode is enabled as well. So let's play the game and let's see how good it's going to be. So the speaker quality of S23 FE is quite nice, you can feel the bass and all, so you will enjoy playing games on this device because of the sound effect as well. The graphics quality is looking really nice, if you have a look on the ground, the cracks on the road and all, slight lagging happened once, but as you can see, we are getting 57 to 62 fps here that's quite nice for sure the graphics quality is really impressive once again slight lagging happened The graphics quality is really nice. So minor lagging happened just once or twice but most of the time the performance of the device was pretty solid while playing Asphalt 9. So now the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius, battery percentage moved to 62 and the device is a bit warm for sure here at the back panel. It's slightly warm, the same goes with the frame as well, not too hot but you can feel that it's getting warmer now. So let's close Asphalt 9 and now it's time to play the next game and that's Alto's Odyssey. So the graphics quality is really nice but as you can see we are getting around 60 FPS. This game supports up to 120 FPS very easily. But as you can see our Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is not fully compatible with this game and because of that we are only getting 60 FPS while playing Alto 0 DC on Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. But the gameplay is still pretty smooth and the graphics quality is really nice. And here we go. So there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth while playing Alto ZDC. It's just that the game is not fully compatible yet and we were getting only 60 FPS but maybe with a future update the device will be fully compatible and we will get 120 FPS while playing it on Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. And now it's time to play the next game and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile you can see by default HD is selected for the graphics, high for the frame rate, I can select HDR graphics quality, Ultra HDR is not available, with HDR I can select 
ultra frame rate as well if i go to smooth then extreme frame rate is getting enabled so i will play the game on ultra frame rate with hdr graphics quality and then with the smooth and extreme to see how much fps we are going to get in both of these graphics settings So you can see we are getting around 40 fps here while playing PUBG Mobile on Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. The graphics quality is looking quite nice for sure. So you can see that how nicely the camera angles are changing and also the reflection of the light from the scope from the gun and how much details we are getting it's really good. So as you can see the graphics quality is pretty solid and we are constantly getting 40 fps while playing PUBG Mobile on Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. So now I'm going to select the smooth graphics quality with extreme frame rate and let's see how much FPS our device is going to generate while playing PUBG Mobile. So you can see that we are getting 60 FPS now, gameplay is way smoother, we are getting the bump of 20 FPS directly so that's quite impressive but still we are not getting 90 FPS here. So we are constantly getting 59, 60 FPS. Gameplay is very smooth. The graphics quality is of course not that great. And you can see how smooth it is. It's 
circuit we are getting 56 58 60 fps gameplay is very smooth and the graphics quality is good enough as well so i'm just going to leave it here now let's have a look on the battery status so now the battery temperature is 39 degrees celsius and the battery percentage moved to 52 so after playing all of these games for an hour that is the duration of this video recording the battery performance seems a bit poor compared to other devices in this price segment the gameplay was nice uh, the temperature is 39 degrees celsius the device is slightly warm on the back as well as on the frame but it's not too hot just slightly warm sensation increased a bit for sure but still it is not causing any issue in the gameplay or something it's once again pretty smooth we are getting 60 fps and the gameplay was also quite nice while playing all of these high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting and most of the time the gameplay was smooth enough to enjoy them without facing any issue sometimes slight jittering minor lagging happened but not too much and if you are a gamer you will be happy with the performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 FE for sure. The only thing is looking a bit bad is the battery performance. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.